Hi, this is Bob Ferguson with Fasten Nature with 10 facts on one of my favorites, the Eastern King Snake. Let's jump right into it with fact number one, etymology. Lampropeltis gatula gatula. Lampropeltis is derived from the Greek words lampros, which means radiant, and pelta, which means small shields. Gatula is derived from the Latin word gatulis, which refers to the Gatulians people of Morocco in Western Africa. The chain-like pattern found on the snake was prevalent in the Gatulian culture. Fact number two, field guide style description. This is going to be taken from amphibians and reptiles of Delmarva. The Eastern King Snake is a moderately large, shiny black snake with narrow white to cream colored crossbands that fork on the sides just above the belly and connect to form a chain like pattern. That's why it's sometimes referred to as the Chain King Snake. The belly, chin, and throat are irregularly checkered with black and white or yellow. The scales are smooth and the anal plate is undivided. This leads us to fact number three confusing species. Juvenile northern black racers and eastern rat snakes appear somewhat similar to juvenile eastern king snakes, but they have dark blotches on a gray background and a divided anal plate. I don't expect non-snake enthusiasts to go checking the anal plates of snakes, so instead just check out my pictures for some differences. I suppose in southern Jersey sometimes people confuse eastern king snakes with northern pine snakes, but northern pine snakes have sharply keeled scales whereas eastern king snakes have smooth shiny scales. Fact number four, range. Eastern king snakes are found from southern New Jersey to northern Florida and west to the Appalachians and southern Alabama. An interesting fact in my area is there are two or three records from the past in southeast Pennsylvania. We're still hoping somebody can turn one up, including me. Fact number five, habitat and habits. When active on the surface, the eastern king snake is primarily a diurnal species. Individuals of the species are, however, most frequently found by looking under cover objects such as logs, rocks, and debris. Throughout their range, they are found in a variety of habitats, including deciduous forests, agricultural lands, mountainous regions, and most often around swamps. Although they are primarily diurnal, they can also be seen crossing roads just after dark. You're going to want to stick around for fact number 10, but in case you're thinking of bailing on the video early, I want to squeeze this in now. Conservation. Eastern king snakes are protected throughout some states, but not in other parts of their range. However, concern has been expressed by some herpetologists that the species is declining in some areas of the coastal plain and in Florida. Although king snakes remain common in many regions, in some regions where they were once abundant, they have recently nearly disappeared. The causes of these declines are unknown, but surprise, surprise, habitat loss and degradation, imported fire ants or diseases are potential causes. Row mortality is also an issue as it is for all wildlife. The one thing I'd like you to think about is that while it may be legal in some areas, the entire Lampropeltis genus is highly sought after by collectors and for the pet trade. If you're going to collect, which I do not, please do it responsibly and please protect hot spots for these beautiful snakes to safeguard against unscrupulous collection. Fact number seven, reproduction. Eastern king snakes probably mate in the spring. In June or July, a clutch of three to 24 eggs is laid in rotten logs, sawdust, soil, or even sometimes under leaves. Hatching occurs in August or September. Although adult Eastern King snakes can reach up to four feet plus, the hatchlings come out ranging between nine and a quarter inches to 12 inches, and they look exactly like their adult counterparts. Go ahead. This is the King Snake. Pick him up for me. He might twitch a little. Show him off. Number eight, behavior with humans, also known as will it bite. King snakes are one of those snakes that can swing either way. I find that when handled gently and respectfully, they can be calm and curious as they wrap around your hands and arms. That said, as with a lot of the genus, they can be sneaky biters, and a seemingly docile snake can be crawling on your arm and decide it wants to turn its head and chew on you for no apparent reason. On the other hand, if you startle a king snake, they could musk, rattle their tail, or recoil and strike, sometimes repeatedly. I find this to be the rarer of the two choices though. In some instances, kings will chew relentlessly on a human. 
I had one such incident in a field involving my stepson, and my theory is that we had been finding and handling snakes all day, and this was what is called a feeding response. In the end, if you are not comfortable with snakes, your best option is to always just leave it alone, and it will certainly leave you alone as you are perceived as a threat and not a meal. So why the name King Snake? It's simple, really. King Snake's primary food source is other snakes, sometimes nearly the same size as themselves. They will also eat lizards, small mammals, amphibians, and bird and reptile eggs. In fact, this one here was seen burrowing into a turtle's nest and dining on the eggs. They are even immune to pit viper venom and often consume venomous snakes, certainly making them the king. So this leads into number 10, and it's something I hear a lot of people who are a bit out of tune with nature say. Disclaimer, if that's you, I mean no offense, and this is one of the reasons I make these videos, so please listen with an open mind. I'll hear people say, so if a king snake eats the venomous snakes, that makes them a good snake, right? I would say no. It doesn't make them good, and it doesn't make them bad. In fact, nature is not good or bad. It just is. That's the beauty of nature. Everything has its place and its niche in the circle of life. Just as a copperhead might be a meal for a king snake, a king snake might be a meal for a mammal or a hawk. Even though snakes are my personal number one love, I don't root for them or root against something trying to eat them. I root for all nature to be in balance. That means everything is good. If humankind as a whole can stay out of nature's way, nature can thrive and all snakes can be good. That is the true naturalist's way, and that's something I'd like you to think about with your biases towards certain animals. And remember, no judgment from me, I have been in your shoes, and we are all evolving, and hopefully for the better. Please stick around for some bonus material of two very different clips of snake interaction with two of my children. But as far as the 10 facts, that about wraps it up. If you've learned anything, please give the video a like, subscribe for more, and comment below. Have you ever seen a king snake? Let me know. I'll tell you one thing, if you are going to, you need to step into the outdoors. Go ahead. This is the king snake. Pick him up for me. He might twitch a little. And show him off. Very cool. Let's see his head. Nice. He stinks, right? It's definitely a male. His hemipenis came out. Oh, wait, there is his hemipenis. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if we can see that. Right there. Why are you showing them that? Watch your face. He might. You never know. Uh, because he's a little stressed out. So we're going to go let him go. You want to let him go? <laughs> Why don't we put them? Yeah, we'll put them back where we got them. He's in your shirt. Yep, yeah, he's in my shirt. All right, come here. He's going through. He's just saying that. Can you get him out? Oh, I'm trying to video too. Just kind of. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's wrapping. You gotta help me there. Oh no. There you go. All right, so <laughs> here you go. I'm gonna let this guy go. Yeah. Show it to the camera. This is the uh, king snake. Eastern king, right? Yeah. All right, here. You know what? Bring him back, and we'll see if he goes. We'll watch him go in the water. Hold on, there's a car coming. We'll let them go. Let's talk about the snake while they're here. So we found, oh, they parked, okay. We found this guy on the road as we're leaving. Go ahead and put him on the ground. It's a her, actually. And she was headed that way. She's going the wrong way. Make her <laughs> this way. There she goes. Tap her tail again, maybe. That is a gorgeous king. That's ah, just moving along here now. There 
Philippines. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Easy and Scott, easy maybe, fun. maybe. We'll oh, oh. Awesome. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a nice. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of it. You want it. me to get it off you? <laughs> I oh, that was so nice. Nice. <laughs> Put it down on the ground, I like area. Dude, that thing is really. And oh, there goes some musk. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Here, right. put it down on the ground and it'll let go. I have never seen it. Oh, get yourself ah, down on the ground. A lot, get a lot. Ow, I feel you. If you get a lot of its body on the ground, oh, it'll let you go. Like, oh. Nah, he's good. Get, oh, get all of his body. It's stuck. It's stuck. Everybody, well, if you want it, I'm offering you a tool. <laughs> Everybody can talk with the Al. All right, maybe you should get, No, no, don't drag him. He'll let go. He'll let go. Sam, I should have come back quicker. The only gauge help. Ow! Ow! Let me um, go. I got, oh. there we go. I got you just in case there's tears. Don't worry. <laughs>